नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट एक्यूट अपेंडिसाइटिस एक्यूट अपेंडिसाइटिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन फॉर्म ऑफ एक्यूट एब्डोमिन दैट रिक्वायर्स सर्जरी इन चिल्ड्रन एंड यंग एडल्ट्स बिफोर स्टडीइंग अबाउट द हिस्टोपैथोलॉजिकल चेंजेस इन द एक्यूट अपेंडिसाइटिस वी विल सी हाउ अ नॉर्मल अपेंडिक्स लुक्स ग्रॉसली एंड अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप The appendix is a worm-like extension of the cecum, and for this reason, it has been called the vermiform appendix. The average length of the appendix is eight to ten centimeter, ranging from two to twenty centimeters, and the maximal outer diameter does not exceed six millimeters. Now, we will recapitulate the histology of normal appendix. The appendix is divided into four layers: mucosa, submucosa, muscularis propria, and serosa. The inner lining of the appendix is covered by a glandular epithelium with intestinal mucus glands, and these glands are lined with epithelial cells, that is, the simple columnar epithelium, and a high number of mucin-producing goblet cells. these goblet cells are characterized by a large globule of mucus located in the top portion of the cells we can appreciate here that it is a simple columnar epithelium with large number of goblet cells then we have the lamina propria containing lymphocytes and then comes a thin layer of muscularis mucosae next we come to the acute appendicitis the appendix may appear grossly normal when the inflammation is limited to the mucosa and submucosa or it may appear erythematous and swollen or when the serosa is affected a purulent exudate or a fibrinous exudate may appear on the surface and if it gets perforated you may see a perforation or it may even get gangrenous now we come to the histopathology of the acute appendicitis now here we can see that the lumen is dilated compared to the previous slide here the lumen is markedly dilated we can see inflammatory infiltrate coming into the lumen also this inflammatory infiltrate comprises mainly of neutrophils now how do you identify a neutrophil it is a segmented wbc and has commonly three lobes along with the neutrophils we can see many rbcs and some fibrin Now see, in this appendix, this is the mucosal lining, and here there is absence of the mucosal lining. That means there is an ulceration. The inflammation has led to the ulceration of the mucosal lining. Now this inflammation is now extending up to the submucosa. We can see some hemorrhage over here. See hemorrhage. these reddish to orange colored rbcs we can see it is going <coughs> into the muscle layer also here we can see the phenomena of diabetes we can see the inflammatory cells they are in the lumen of the blood vessel then they are crossing the wall of the blood vessel to come into the surrounding tissue this is the blood vessel then cells and then they are crossing on to the surrounding tissue the inflammation is also in the serosal layer and in the surrounding periappendicular fat see these are adipocytes and we can say they are surrounded by 
neutrophils. So to sum up, in acute appendicitis, we have seen that the lumen has been dilated. We can see a predominance of neutrophils which is extending into the, all the layers of the appendix. There is edema and congested blood vessels can also be seen. Thank you.